Hi, I'm Derek. Welcome to TechEdge. Compute Express Link, or CXL, is a technology that has the potential to dramatically change the way computers are upgraded and tailored to specific applications. But what exactly is CXL and how does it work? Today, we're going to cover just that and touch on what may be holding CXL back from widespread use. Before we get started, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos and live streams. Okay, now let's dive in to CXL. Compute Express Link has its roots in addressing a long sought desire by computer designers and users for a modular and scalable computing solution, one that can expand and contract as a user's needs change. The CXL standard is implemented and documented by the CXL Consortium, and the Consortium releases the features, functions, and capabilities of CXL as a revision-controlled specification, not unlike what the USB Integrators Forum does for the USB standard. Because Compute Express Link is used to describe both a broad concept and a documented standard, we'll turn to the CXL Consortium for their official definition. Compute Express Link CXL is an industry-supported cache-coherent interconnect for processors, memory expansion, and accelerators. It maintains memory coherency between the CPU memory space and memory on attached devices, which allows resource sharing for higher performance, reduced software stack complexity, and lower overall system cost. This allows users to simply focus on target workloads as opposed to the redundant memory management hardware in their accelerators. CXL is designed to be an industry open standard interface for high-speed communications as accelerators are increasingly used to complement CPUs in support of emerging applications such as artificial intelligence and machine learning. Got all that? Yeah, a few examples are probably useful here. Let's say you use more RAM in your system to help with multitasking workloads. In most cases, that will require you to shut down your computer, open it up, replace the RAM, start it back up again, and that is of course if you have the requisite RAM slots and compatible memory available. With CXL, you could just drop in some memory expansion modules. Need processing cores? Add another processor module. Maybe you need more connectivity? You could incorporate a new network module. And oh, by the way, this is all hot pluggable, meaning there's no need to bring the system down for maintenance or reboot it to have the new hardware recognized. So at this point, you may be thinking, that all sounds great. Why in the world haven't I heard about this being rolled out across every new computer system? Well, while strides have been made in the direction of the dream of a universal memory standard, one of the biggest barriers to date has been the effective throughput and bandwidth capabilities of various bus architectures and interconnects. This bandwidth limitation impacts the ability of shared memory spaces, such as cache, to be updated in multiple places at the same time. That coherency is critically important when extremely large workloads requiring significant memory consumption have to be processed across multiple CPUs or multiple accelerators, such as GPUs, DPUs, or VPUs. Unfortunately, without a fast enough bus, it's difficult to maintain the necessary memory coherency amongst a primary host processor's memory and devices. That said, this is where proprietary vendor-specific cache coherent buses like Intel's UltraPath Interconnect, uh, AMD's E External Global Memory Interconnect, and NVIDIA's NVLink have addressed some of the coherency and scalability issues. With the bandwidth potential and speed of capabilities of PCIe 5.0 and soon 6.0, the bandwidth barrier is breaking down. The improvement in capabilities, along with the vendor-specific methodologies of enabling data coherency and scalability, are paving the way for the next generation of an open standards-based scalable computation method via Compute Express Link. So that's probably enough for now, and that's where we'll end part one of this two-part series about CXL. We hope we gave you a little more insight into what CXL is and what it could potentially allow. In the next video, we'll talk about Compute Express Link and how it could be effectively implemented at the edge. So be sure to subscribe, hit that bell icon to get notified, and we'll see you next time on TechEdge.